if I could sod it. Yeah. <laughs> The way they package this thing is so nice. How Cora was say, Oh my god, I will miss my friends. Hello, I'll miss my friend. <laughs> emotional, emotional. And everybody was feeling sorry for her. <laughs> you guys, let me tell you, eh, these children, eh, the first day Cora went to school, the first day she made a new BFF, okay? And that was just like a few days after we landed, right? She made a new best friend. Not only that, she was asking me to go and buy her friend, buy her and her friend a friendship bracelet. So when she told me, I was like, because they went to buy uniforms, I think the next day, or was it that same day? I think we picked them from school, then we went to buy uniforms or something like that, I can't remember. She was like, oh, that we should buy, get her um, um, a friendship bracelet for her and her best friend. And I was like, huh? Which one is your best friend? Like, what are you talking about? And I didn't get it for her, okay? I just felt it was just like, gone right side again, too many friends, just na 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 na. So I didn't really, I didn't get it for her. Only for this is like a few weeks after, this is like two weeks after, a bit. Yeah, it's like two weeks after. And you know, after school, her friend, her friend's name is Sophia, which is also Sophia's name. I've met her parents one or, once or twice at drop off, right? So at, at pick up, I saw them with Cora and their daughter Sophia. And you know, they now said, that, Oh, I should wait that Sophia has something for Cora. And that is this friendship necklace, okay? Sophia has the other white yeah. part. So the two complete um, one, I don't know, yeah, you guys can see it. It's the half part and whenever we are in school or something, mm -hmm. I think the first time that we see each other, we're going to like put it together. Mm. Yeah. After you wear it. Mm -hmm. So you're so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so happy for Cora I'm going to do I'm so happy for Cora. Cora, you guys eh? See, personality is just something else, okay? Personality is follow come. It's not about how you grow up. You know, how you grow up and all that affects, but personality is follow come and I use my kids to know because so the first day Cora went to school, she came back, she told me, oh, you know, she has a new BFF, told me the names of her friends, told me, you know, that she has different friends, she called all their names, this and that, and I was like, eh. She had so much to say about school, about her friends, her friends, her friends. You know, already, in fact, accent don't already enter. In fact, the accent entered before she entered school, self. as we landed, as we landed UK. Accent just changed. I mean, she already had an accent before, or she could already, you know, speak with an accent before. But now it's like you see now from airport the air, the British air just gave her accent Im immediately. I mean the accent is even to me it sounds American, doesn't still sound British. The accent sounds like American TV, all those kind of things she watches. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, this is my new office. Well, this is my husband's office, but we're arranging things around so that we can both share. Because right now everything is sharing. <laughs> all our things from Nigeria just came, so I'm trying to sort out things. I just know where to put what before we eventually just. You know settle very well i'll still give you guys a house tour i don't know if i've already done the house tour at this point but anyway i'll still give you guys a house tour but for now everywhere is still upside down so that's why i've not yet done it and i didn't want to do empty house tour because the house was not empty like we moved when we moved in the house was already furnished so i couldn't do empty house tour so i was like okay i might as well just settle down very well arrange it the way i want and then do the house tour anyway what was i saying yeah so about Cora and eva so that was how you know, Cora was her first day of school, she was already so excited and everything. 
Meanwhile, her sister Eva, opposite. In fact, first week of school, I'll be asking Eva, how was school today? Oh, fine. She always says school is, school is fine. She likes her school and I like her school as well. In fact, her school is one of the best schools around here. So because of this, even though it's not close to Kora school, I don't mind. Anyway, I've jumped again. Anyway, so first thing I'll ask, I'll ask Eva, how was school today? Oh, school was fine. I enjoyed it. I played. I played outside. I played in my class. They play, 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 play up and down. Okay. And I'll be like, okay, so what are your friend's name? I don't know. <laughs> no accent though. It's not even I don't know. It's like, mm? she just, mm. <laughs> I say, okay, what's the teacher's name? Mm. And I'm like, so what did you do in school today? I played. <laughs> and I ate this. You know, they give their lunch in school. And I ate this and I played. I'm like, okay, who are your best friends in class? Mm. I don't know their name. That's just it. Like, and I was like, ah, ah. meanwhile, Cora, first day of school, she already had a long list of names of her friends. So yeah, it just shows me that this whole thing of behavior, character, personality is for local. Yes, as as her parents or as her mom, you know, will just try to make sure that nobody is extreme. Okay, you won't be an extreme introvert. You won't be an extreme extrovert. But you know, you will still eventually fall somewhere close to what you naturally are. But now, this is like two weeks after, Eva finally knows the, the names of two people in her class, okay? She finally knows the name of two people in her class. She said those two people are her best friends. Those are the only names Eva knows. Any other name I ask her, she doesn't know. At least Cora, Cora has friends in her class. She has friends in other classes. She has friends that she knows from the playground. I'm like, which kind of social preference is this one? Meanwhile, Eva only knows two people in the whole school. <laughs> and the two people guess their names. Their names are Eva and Sophia. And mind you, she doesn't talk about them like she doesn't. It's me that has to ask her about them before she talk about them. Like on her own, unprovoked. She doesn't talk about them. She doesn't like that one don't concern her. She's just <laughs> she's just in school to play and eat. But yeah, that's it though. So let me just go and prepare their lunch. Okay, I don't even know if I started this vlog properly, but yeah, hi guys. Um yeah, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze. I am the Adeze of Adeze Space, okay? Um, yeah, so our uh, things finally came today. I'm so excited. I've been arranging and arranging and I ordered some things, okay? Um, but I am so happy we were able to carry our things from Nigeria. You guys, you, you will not understand. Oh my goodness. These people have saved us thousands of pounds. Ah, my fridge came, you guys. My freezer fridge came and I'm so excited. Although that freezer fridge, as he entered this house, boom, it was like... My kitchen turned into two square inch. <laughs> I mean two square meter. I don't even know. My my kitchen turned to the smallest kitchen ever. The kitchen was spacious before, but that fridge was quite big. I didn't even know it was that, that that big. So when it landed or more, half of the kitchen just went. But I'm so excited for it. I can't wait to start stocking up my freezer. Um I have food in the other house. You guys know that my the other house where we landed that house is still there for us. So I have food inside that freezer, I have ingredients inside that freezer like food stuff, you know, my fish, all those peruko, crayfish, all those things are inside the freezer there. So I need to go and bring them now and put them inside here. But yeah, so far so good. We are settling down well. We are doing, we're, we're doing well, we're doing well to be honest. I'm driving, okay? I don't know if I told you guys already, but I'm driving. I've been driving since, I think less than a, no, not less than a week ago. I think the second week I got here, I started driving, okay, because I don't get choice, okay? I don't get shoes. I had to drive. It's been... Right now, it's actually easy. Like, just like that, this video has turned to sit-down video. But anyway, I think that... And correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But I feel like driving in the UK is easier than driving in Nigeria, okay? If you know how to drive. Like, once you learn how to drive that right-hand drive, and, you know, you learn the science and all those things, it, it is actually quite easier to drive in the UK that it is to drive in Nigeria. Because here, all the road signs are clear, like very, very clear, except you don't know them. Okay, that's the only reason why you drive nonsense. But if you know the road signs and you're not in a hurry, you're driving with your senses complete, you will actually drive, like it's actually a easy drive, or what's the word? Especially in driving, okay? Inside the city, there's no hold up, there's no anybody honking behind you, everybody's just going quietly, obeying the rules, quiet, like, it's so sweet. So I'm making progress. I'm happy about that. You guys, I just came back with my kids. I need to go and give them food. Let me go and give them food, okay? We'll continue this gist maybe tomorrow or some other day. You guys, I am enjoying this sun, okay? Because the weather is something else. Even though the weather is not so cold now, I think because of the sun, okay? The weather is currently 9 degrees. And 9 degrees is not cold. Like, <laughs> I'm enjoying those people that used to be like, Oh, it's quite warm. It's 9 degrees. <laughs> 
not really but yeah the weather is not as cold as it can be so this is you know jogging weather anyway i'm at my kids school now i'm actually at ava school you guys i go to ava school at i leave my house at 20 minutes past two o'clock okay to go and pick ava who closes at at three o'clock mind you her school is just two minutes away from my house okay but i leave my house at 2 20 because if you come here 2 45 you will not see where to park like you will not see where to park i remember the first day i came here 2 45 thinking ah i'm going to be early today yeah nowhere to park i said okay i'll show you guys pepe i'm going to i'm going to show up by 2 30 i'll show you people that i don't have work <laughs> i'll show you guys that i don't get work my work not my, not my children so 2 30 i am going to show up one more I showed up at 2.30. I got space, so, but I got space at the back, back, back. So now I leave my house 2.20. I don't know. I feel like I now know all the people that come. Mind you, when I come at 2.20, I'm not the first to. Like, when I came here today, I had, there were like six cars already parked, right? So, but I feel like it's the same six cars that I see all the time. So, I've gauged 2.20 as the best time to come so I can park like two cars away from my kids' school. Not even the first spot, too. I'm just two cars away from here eva school so after picking eva i then drive all the way to Cora school don't want anybody to look at me sideways i try to be on time <laughs> i like being on time normally i like just picking my children and going home because i mean but i don't want anybody to look at me sideways so i like being on time both for pick up and for drop off in fact fun fact when i used to walk Cora to school for the because for the first one week i actually used to walk Cora to school fun fact the teacher, the school administrator or whatever, no, I'm sure, whatever, somebody, somebody from their school shop told me that she wanted to talk with me. I said, okay, what is it? She was like, um, that Cora comes to school too early. You know how they talk that. I can't even mimic them. But that Cora comes to school too early that, you know, Cora is supposed to be in school by 8.40. That's when they are supposed to be in school, not 8.30. So I used to get to school then 8.20, you know, because I'm a Nigerian setting for me. School starts at 8 o'clock, but I used to drop my kids sometimes at school, 7 a.m., you know, 7.05, 7.30, you know. Normal, normal, but yeah, no. You come when you're supposed to come, and you go when you're supposed to go. In fact, I was telling someone, I was telling my husband the other day that, you know that Cora School closes by 3.15, right? So by 3.15, they bring the kids onto the playground. Then you get, you take them from the playground. You know, once the kid waves at you, you take a child and go, right? If you get to their school 3.15, 18 you won't see anybody in the school you will not see any car like if you want to get good parking space you want to park very well go to the school by 3 18 like it's so shocking but the same thing we drop off okay so if you come to if i come to drop ava now at 8 30 i i drop ava at school around let's say 8 25 i come around i leave my house 8 20 as well but let's say 8 25 i drop her off by 8 30 almost all the cars here have, have gone because you know nobody has time to just sit around i mean a lot of in Ava school, I don't know why I'm even giving you guys this long talk now. Anyway, but in Ava school, Ava so far, Ava is the only black person I've seen in her school. And it's quite, you know, it's not like it's weird or anything because I'm not I don't send anybody, nobody sends me, so I don't really care. But you know, I just wish she had like I just wish you know there were black people in the school, just for visual sake, not for anything sake. <laughs> but in current school, there are a lot of black people. Not too many. Maybe in the entire school, I've seen like, let's say five people in the entire school. And I'm sure two of them are siblings, okay? In the entire school that I have seen, maybe there are more, but the one I've seen, I've seen their parents, maybe like five people. But in Ava school, none, okay? The only non-white people I've seen in Ava school are actually like Asians. Many of them are Actually, they actually speak like proper, proper British accent. So I feel like they are even people that, are, people that were maybe born here and have lived here all their lives. Um, or maybe they are even from here self. But yeah, so that's why I'm just waiting. So I wait in the parking lot for over 30 minutes. till it's like 5 minutes to, or 3 minutes to 3 o'clock. Then I go and queue up. There's always a queue. And I go and queue up. And then once it's 3 o'clock, they open the door. I run to her class. They bring her out. I run back. I start going to Cora School because Cora School is three fifteen. So to make it in three, to make it to Cora School before three fifteen, so I can actually take her from the playground. I have to be fast. So anyway, it's exciting. I'm sure. Can you guys tell that I'm excited? Actually, exciting. People have asked me, "Oh, how did you cope?" I think I'll answer this in a video share. But the truth is that I am actually stressed out. Okay, 
but i feel like i'm i'm okay let me say i'm stressed out i'm actually very busy i'm not stressed out or maybe i'm a little stressed out i'm not like i'm a little stressed out but i don't know what i say anyway i'm just rambling i'm actually very very busy but it's like adrenaline inducing adrenaline pumping activities okay like pick a child drop a child do this one go home prepare food <laughs> do that one uh, get ready to for bed do you know you guys i enjoy bathing my kids and rubbing them cream and getting them ready for bed i enjoy it i don't do it all the time sometimes i'm too tired or i'm in the kitchen doing something complicated so they have to do it themselves i only take care of sophia all the time every other child if i feel like it's fine okay well i take care of sophia every day i take care of ava once in two days or once in three days cora i just supervise her sometimes not even all the time i supervise her sometimes like maybe once or twice a week i sit down with her and watch her take her bath from beginning to end and rub cream from beginning to end okay but i actually like the fact that i'm supervising my kids like i'm very very in touch with my kids like i love it anyway what i even took this phone to tell you guys I just remember now is that we are returning this car tomorrow okay so this car that i am driving is actually a list. I feel like I dress funny today. I don't know. I look funny. This jacket, so I'm gonna see this jacket tire. Like in case anybody's taking notes, because I know people like to take note of such things. Why you always buy that? You see this jacket, so I'm gonna see I'm tired. I buy them with my money, eh? And the washing machine, okay? So and I wash them for night, <laughs> wear them for morning. <laughs> or wash them for weekend, wear them for, for the next week. I don't wash it that often. I think I wash it just like twice since I bought it. But I wear it every single day, like every single day. Because I wait in the morning to just drop them off and come back home. I wait in the afternoon to drop them, to pick them up and come back home. So it's not like it's that dirty. But yeah, anyway. Um, so what was I saying? So yeah, we got this car. And um we're supposed to return it tomorrow. And we have not gotten a second car. So I don't know how we're going to do school runs next week. Oh. I don't know. We might end up paying again. I think my husband is just waiting for tomorrow to know. I think waiting for tomorrow is saturday look we're, dro we're dropping the car on sunday tomorrow is saturday so i think he's just waiting to get a car tomorrow for me if he gets a car tomorrow for me then fantastic okay because he said that since he has been trying to get a car that has this android auto that is this let me show you guys this screen here okay because this screen is really nice even though it's not connected to my phone right now but yeah so i actually like that screen because when, whenever i put my map on it it makes things easier for me yeah i don't have to be checking my phone and it's quite large so the the map the map shows very well so he wants to he was trying to get me a car that has this but he said that he just realized that that's part of why the cars he has been seen are very expensive if you want a automatic car that has this thing it's very expensive so he wants to get one without it but i don't know if he has seen he's not even saying anything about whether he has seen or not i trust him Sha. like i don't need to bug my head about it but Hopefully he gets tomorrow. If he gets, and I'll have a new car, and I can now treat the car the way I want because this car is so temporary. Like I know it's not my car, so I can't really do much inside it. I can't really keep anything inside it. I don't even keep anything actually, but I keep my purse sometimes. But I can't really keep much inside it. But I can't wait to have my own car. So, um, but I haven't really entered bus yet. I've just told myself that once I settle down very well, I keep saying once I settle down. But yeah, once I settle down very well, I'm going to explore the city using their bus routes. Thank God for Google. Thank God for you know automatic payments and stuff like that and apps and stuff like that it's not going to be a problem i know so i can't wait to explore so i can't wait to explore like all the bus routes and you know just go to different places go back to city center i went to the city center with a friend last week but i drove so we couldn't really do much and it was in between school runs time we couldn't really do much so the next when i settled down maybe like in two weeks time on a Saturday, I will go to the city center alone. Let me figure things out by myself. Let me, if I want to lose, make I lose. <laughs> you know, because that's the only way I can learn. If I, if somebody has to keep showing me things, I'm not going to learn. So, without her, I'll just go that Saturday, explore the city the whole day, then come back in the evening. So that's what I'm going to do to learn how, how the bus route works, just so that we don't have to spend so much fuel and we don't have to drive all the time. Even though. You don't get the car you don't get the car but yeah i've used you guys to while away time it is currently 2 50 so in the next five minutes i should be walking down to go and pick ava from her class and then the race to, to cora's school begins yeah i'm excited i've been i'm trying okay you guys i'm trying i look you enjoy this life shall let me not even lie like it's not even lucky i actually enjoy this life okay people that said abroad life fits me you guys were right i don't even know why i did not know actually it's not like i don't know i knew but i didn't want to admit it to myself that abroad life fits me 
because one thing about me is that where I am, I, I, I adjust both spiritually, physically, and mentally to where I am. <laughs> it's just so that, you know, that I will not be frustrated, okay? So, or maybe that's what I'm doing now. Maybe I'm actually adjusting my life to this place. That's why it doesn't feel so bad. But whatever the case, whether I am pretending here or I'm pretending in Nigeria, that will not concern anybody, okay? I know is that right now, I am actually low-key loving it, okay? I'm loving my life here. You know, it's not easy. I have to keep reiterating that one. I'm not saying life here is easy. I'm not saying life here is just, you know, a, a walk in the park or whatever. No, it's not easy at all, but it is my kind of difficult, okay? Like, it's, it's something I can I can deal with. Um, For the social aspect, because I know some people are going to ask me about the social aspect, the truth is that me not having friends yet here, like, I have friends. Let me not, let me not say I don't have friends. I have friends in the UK, funny enough. The only problem is that all of them are far. This UK is far from this. Where this Norwich actually not UK. This Norwich is actually far from everywhere. <laughs> because I have friends in London. I have friends in Manchester. I have friends in Aberdeen. I have friends in all over the place. I'm trying to see if I can make friends around here. But the truth is that I'm not really a very social person. Okay, like if not for my kids, most I don't even think I'm going to socialize that much. If not for my kids, okay. But I because I know I am that way. I'm trying to make a conscious effort. To not be that way not only for my kids sake but even for my sake like let me let me not just say oh i, I don't care i don't care and then i'll not be like that for how many years no i want to actually try and socialize so i've made new friends okay just a couple of friends then last week i now discovered that i actually have four nigerian neighbors that live like around my house like not neighbors that live in the same estate or whatever no i mean like two houses away in Nigerian, their house in Nigerian, opposite my house in Nigerian. I just discovered it. And funny enough, how I discovered it was because there's this guy that is a Ghanaian that lives close to me. I always say hi to him because I thought he was Nigerian to be honest. I always say hi to him when I see him. So the other day, I think I say hi to him and pass. So he didn't know where I used to live. So the other day, he was coming out of his house, at the back of his house. He now saw me coming out of my own house. And he was like, Oh, you live here? I was like, Yeah. So I was like, Okay. So when this house was, you know, for rent, I was like, Yeah. So he now, I now asked him where is he from. He said he's from Ghana. He now asked me where I'm from. I said I'm from Nigeria. He was like, oh, we have lots of Nigerians here. So he now pointed out those houses where Nigerians live. And I was like, fantastic. Fantastic way. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I must only make Nigerian friends. I can make friends from anywhere or any culture and country or whatever, from even British people. Okay? I don't mind. But, you know, having Nigerians just makes you feel like, okay, familiarity. Just for familiarity's sake, okay. It doesn't mean that because we're Nigerians, we must be friends. I'm not forcing myself on anybody. It's not like we must be friends. Before, before people start looking at me sideways, like, eh, so because I'm a Nigerian, you think I must talk to you. Kora told me that it's easy that I should just walk up to their houses and knock and introduce myself. I was like, yeah, it's like you don't know your mother. It's like you're just knowing where you where you came from. So it's not that it's not going to be that easy for me. But what I want to do is that I want to strategize and see if I can catch them when they are coming out of their houses for school runs or you know, I just hope and pray that when it's summer and people are playing outside, you know, they can come outside and I will, I will see them, okay? But the one Kara was saying, Kara said it's easy, just go to their houses, just knock and say, Hi, my name is Adeze, I'm this, I'm that, I live here, I, uh, can we be friends? I was Kara said, I should guys say, I should guys say, can we be friends? <laughs> I was like, hey sister, because you can do it doesn't mean I can do it, eh? I, I'm sorry, me and Eva, we're on the same... We're in the same, uh, we're more, we're more in the same uh, uh, personality category, okay? Me and Eva, not me and Cora, okay? So, but anyway, that's it, okay, for this video. Um, I'm, in, I'm enjoying my life. Uh, okay, I'm happy, I'm fine, I'm doing well, I'm thriving. I'm, I'm, I'm killing it, it's not just thriving, I'm killing it, okay? Like, I'm killing it. Um, yeah, initially, when I first came, funny enough, the first three weeks when I came, my children were living their best life, me, I was just living, and that's what I keep saying that. While they were living their best life, I was just living, I was just surviving, I was just waking up and like a zombie, just doing things, doing things till night comes. I wasn't happy, I wasn't sad, but right now I'm entering that phase of, you know, happiness and hopefully it remains this way, okay? But if anything changes, I'll come and tell you guys, you guys know now. If tomorrow I know if it's cope, I'll go tell them and say, I can't, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Um, but yeah, hey, I should have gone to queue since so now the queue don't they reach my car. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <music>